Hey everyone, welcome back to Tomorrow's Adventures today. I'm Jacob. And I'm Sarah. And this is going to be a little bit of a different video. A little bit. So we know we've been absent for a little while and we want you guys to know that it's not because we didn't want to make videos, it's not because we aren't going to make videos anymore, it's not because you guys hurt our feelings and, and we don't want to be friends any longer. Uh, life has happened. A little bit. You know, obviously with, with <laughs> The big C going on uh, and going back to work and all this other stuff, that's one thing. Um, but there's been some changes in our life that we wanted to sit down and you know discuss with you guys because a lot of you guys are family too, and a lot of you guys are like family. Um, so we just want to kind of get it out there, talk to you guys about what's going on because it's not only going to change our lives, but it's also going to change our videos. Quite a bit. So yep. you want to talk about yeah. what, what happened? So, um, this, I'm very nervous about this, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit. It's not a breakup. I promise. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so, uh, roughly a year ago, I had been noticing that I was having some pains in my feet. Um, I would say, and then it kind of progressed to my hands, my joints. Um, so. And she's old, but she's not. Right. And I'm pretty active. So like, you know, those kinds of things you wouldn't expect to happen to me. Um, but so I was a little bit concerned. Um, so I did, we all go down the Google rabbit hole, um, did you go down particular. the rabbit hole, um, and freak myself out a little bit, yeah. but, um, for, for good reason. So I did end up making a doctor's appointment just to get checked out, see kind of what was happening. Um, and at the very first one, I met with a nurse practitioner mm -hmm. and she was very straight with me and was like, I'm pretty sure you have textbook rheumatoid arthritis. So that was kind of a big hit, but that's kind of what my Googling had told me anyway. Um, so then I met with the, the doctor there a couple weeks later, they ran even more tests, lots of blood work. Um, he wasn't sure if it was rheumatoid arthritis or not. He said, you've got some markers, but then some other things are saying no. So um, they did refer me to rheumatology. Um, so I decided to go to Rush because I, I wanted to have the best care possible. Um, and I had an appointment like a week later. And yeah. at that appointment, she checked my joints, looked at all my blood work, and she said, yep, you have rheumatoid arthritis. So that's kind of what has been happening. Um, yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot it, to take in. It all happened very quickly. Yeah. From the beginning of the first appointment to sitting down with your specialist was, like you said, a three, matter of three weeks. Three weeks, and everything changed in that time. Yeah. Um, but we're not making this video to like try and garner likes or have your pity, or we don't want your, oh, I'm so sorry. We really don't, you know, we don't need. You guys to sell Sarah any products. We don't need to know your cousin's uncle's sister brother who has RA. Uh, we're just kind of making this video because we want to share our story and and use our voice so that maybe some people who don't feel comfortable talking yeah. about it or who are looking for someone else who's going through it. And for know. and for those of you that follow me like on my fitness pages, you know I'm very much like out there like no filters on that. You know here's here's what's happening and and. I want people who are uncomfortable with talking about things to maybe feel comfortable coming to me to talk about things. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm open if you want to, you know, talk about it. If someone out there, you know, has concerns, feel free to message us or absolutely um, anything like that. So. Absolutely. We're always willing to listen. But, you know, what is this, what does having RA really mean for you, though? That's yeah. something we wanted to cover. So... RA kind of in general is basically your, your body, it's an autoimmune disorder. So your body starts attacking itself. And it's not like other arthritis. No. So osteoarthritis is kind of like what you think of like old person arthritis, mm -hmm. where it's, it's basically like the, the joints themselves are, are just overused. And then like you start to get the soreness and there, you know, there's some like degeneration of things it's like that. breaking down. Um, rheumatoid arthritis is my body is immune system. Um, is starting to attack itself. Um, so primarily joints, but it can affect like your inner organs. Um, one thing that I found out is that it can cause hearing loss. Um, yeah. As a speech therapist, that is a huge concern for me. Um, so I have been um, kind of checking on that. Right. Um, 
But yeah, so uh, it can kind of affect a lot of different things. For me, it affects my feet and my hand joints the most. Um, so the two probably worst things that you can think yeah, of. Especially for CrossFit. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's that's been an, another frustrating thing for me. Yes. Uh, I've encountered several workouts that I have just kind of, it's been very difficult to hold on to things, uh, do things. Um, I found out that barbell work is very, very difficult for me right now. Um, it's very painful because it presses on a lot of my sore joints. So that's been a lot, you know, frustrating, especially for the, you guys that know me very well and how much I like to work out. Um, but it's kind of a learning process, so I just need to figure it all out. But this diagnosis does not mean that you're going to stop working out. No. It does not mean that we're going to quit making videos. Nope. It does not mean that we're going to stop doing any of this stuff. No. It just means that we're going to have to be doing it a little differently. Yeah. But you started your meds. I did. So I'm on something called methotrexate, um, which is an immunosuppressant. So it, it's a pretty common it RA is. treatment. It's usually the one of the first ones that they start you on. Um, it, it being immuno, in an immunosuppressant isn't great. Obviously, working in a school, there are tons of germs. So I'm in the middle of COVID. In the middle of COVID. I do have had my COVID vaccine, so I'm okay. Um, but so I am nervous about all of that. Like when life goes back to normal and all my wonderful germy children come back. <laughs> <laughs> that will be very, very interesting. It will be. What else did we want to um, talk about? So let's see some side effects of the medication. Yeah. So other than getting sick, um, some side effects that my doctor kind of warned me about were losing my hair, which is going to be interesting. Yeah. I can't decide if I have had hair loss from it or not yet. Um, my hair's thin anyway, so. I might be losing hair on her behalf. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> um, but so that's kind of a big side effect for that. Um, it's, the meds in itself can cause hearing loss too, so it's kind of like a double whammy. Um, but fingers but crossed. You've gotten fully tested for yeah. that. Her hearing is like super human, so. Super sonic hearing, you can't get away with anything. So I can't <laughs> maybe whisper under anything under no. my breath and I doubt that's gonna change. Um, other changes that you've been making, uh, major dietary changes. Huge changes. So um, rheumatoid arthritis is a flammatory disease. So I have cut out any and everything that could possibly cause inflammation in my body yeah. um basically no, anything fun it, yeah it's yeah so no dairy no eggs um no artificial sweeteners um i'm missing one gluten. no gluten um i'm very much limiting sugar um so it yeah I cardboard have, is life bro yeah. <laughs> so that's been an interesting challenge um a major challenge so that's sort of kind of a why we wanted to make this video it's, it's a it's a frustrating thing for us because it changes so much about what we do together so yeah. much of our stuff centered around cooking for each other trying new foods going out to new restaurants all this stuff that while we can do it obviously with COVID, it's challenging enough but we have to be extra cautious because we don't know what ingredients they're using or what dishes they're going to have that Sarah may or may not be able to try or if it says it's gluten free does that really mean it's gluten free and all these right. things that are going to change how we do things so yeah yeah it's going to affect a lot of our our daily life but it is going to affect our videos because our taste tests, while we have some ideas for some in the future, we do. are not going to be the same as they used to be. No. We can't do the same old try the junk food that we both love. Love. Um, you guys have no idea how hard <laughs> this is. The, we can't do those videos anymore. So we're trying to come up with some creative ideas, some new ideas on videos that we can try um, to get back involved with you guys because we love making videos and, and responding to your guys' comments. It's a ton of fun. And we love trying new things. Absolutely. That's the whole point yeah. of this channel. We made this channel so that we could uh, create memories for tomorrow. And yeah. so, you know, it's doing doing new adventures and making memories. That's what this is all about. Trying new things, going on adventures. And our, our uh, adventures are slightly restricted right now and they, they, we're just having to take it, take them and go down a different path. Yeah. We still got some big stuff planned for 2021. Uh, so I wouldn't, I would say it's still looking up. I hope It's so. just going to be a little bit different than we had originally planned. A little bit different. Yeah. And like I said, this was just kind of to let you guys know what's going on, keep you guys up to date with what's going on in our day to day lives. 
Uh, we appreciate your support and feedback. We don't need any pity. We don't need any sorries. Feel free to ask questions though. If you Absolutely. have any questions, you know, I will do my best to answer them. We'll be in the comments responding to any questions you may have. Um, we've got a good handle on it. Uh, while we know you guys are just gonna try and help and, and give us friendly advice, we appreciate that. But uh, at this point, we'd appreciate it if you just kind of let us go through the motions and and, uh, and do it ourselves. I think we've kind of got a handle on how we want to proceed. I think so. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I have a really good doctor. I love outstanding her. Outstanding doctor, outstanding um, team. So, um, we're, we're really and good. And she's got a pretty solid boyfriend I for do. a support system. Super supportive. I have <laughs> such a good support system with him, with my dad. For any of you guys that know my dad, he's great too. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, I couldn't have asked for a better support team. Absolutely. So but I'm excited for 2021. I think it's gonna be good. Positive thinking, which isn't my strong suit. We're but... still doing our positivity job every day. It's yep. back there. Every week we write down a new positive moment and positive thought, and we have not stopped. We're a quarter of the way through we the year. We are, last weekend was a quarter of the way. Can you guys believe that? That's nuts. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a ride. It has been a Already. roller coaster. But it's been a good one. It has, yeah. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. We hope to cycle out some videos, some more videos for you guys real soon. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, guys. Bye.